if you scroll through my YouTube channel, you'll see that I've been putting videos on YouTube for quite a while. I've got random stuff. I've got computer stuff. I've got some stuff with my dog. I've got stuff with my kids. But I thought, what do I really want to do? I, I really want to talk about spiritual formation. And I want to talk about how to study the Bible. But before I can get to those videos, I think first I want to talk about what it means to read the Bible. You might be thinking, I know how to read. I taught to read kindergarten, first grade. I've been reading for years. But what we're taught is how to read for information. And that's important. It's important to know the material. Our teachers would test us. Our professors would test us to see if we've mastered the material, if we understand the material. And in order to do that, we might read a chapter or two. We might make notes on places, things, people, names, you know, all that sort of information that we'll need for the test. We might have spent hours cramming for a test, trying to shove everything in our mind, take the test. And we might actually do well on the test, but a couple of days later, we've forgotten 80% of what at one point we knew. Well, reading for information is important, and there's a place for it. When we approach Scripture, if our desire is to be transformed and changed, we read differently. We read uh, formationally, which means we might not read a chapter. We might read a section or a paragraph, sometimes even a verse. And as we read, we're listening. We're listening to God for God to speak to us through His Word, and He does. And so in future videos, we will talk about reading scripture. We'll talk about uh, disciplines or techniques or practices that help us listen to God through his word. But in this video, I want to give you one tip that I think will make all the difference. And that tip is before you open your Bible, before you turn on your tablet, before you do anything, Spend some time in prayer. Share with God your desire to hear him speak into your life through his word. Share with him your desire to be formed and, and, and reformed and transformed into the image of his son. Share with God your desire to be able to love others as Jesus has loved you. And you're reading scripture, you're reading his word so that you might become more like Jesus, so you might be formed in his will and his way. I believe that prayer is vital if we are going to hear God speak deeply into our lives through his word. Well, until next time, may God bless you and may you find some time, carve some time out to read his word and spend time in prayer. Blessings.